Hello fourth grade. We're going to work on comparing fractions again today, but this time we're going to compare fractions that have different denominators. This is lesson 10-8 on page 151 in your workbook. Look at number one. We're going to compare 7 eighths to 2 fourths. So this is page 151. 7 eighths compared to 2 fourths. And we can do this two different ways. First we can use fraction strips. And here's 7 eighths fold back one of the eighths, that's seven-eighths, compared to two-fourths. And I can easily see that seven-eighths is greater than two-fourths. Okay, so seven-eighths is greater than two-fourths. Now let's look at number two. Number two says three-fifths compared to five-tenths. So I get out my fraction strips here. Here's three-fifths, and then here's five-tenths, and I can see that three-fifths is greater than 5 tenths. That's how you can do it with fraction strips. You just fold them back and compare the actual fractions. Or you can change it so that you have the same denominator. So let's go back to our fraction here, 7 eighths and 2 fourths. Okay, so I can change 2 fourths to eighths. I can make an equivalent fraction. 4 times 2 is 8, so I multiply my numerator. 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 fourths is the same thing as 4 eighths, and 7 eighths is greater than 4 eighths, because now we just have to compare my numerators. The same thing over on number 2. 3 fifths compared to 5 tenths, I can change 3 fifths into tenths, make an equivalent fraction. 5 times 2 equals 10, so 3 times 2 equals 6, and 6 tenths is greater than 5 tenths. Let's go down and look at number five. Number five, I'm comparing three-eighths is greater than something fourths. So I need to figure out what that would be. So I'm going to get my fraction strips here. Here are my fourths, and here are my eighths. Okay, here's three-eighths. Okay, and that's greater than, if I put one-fourth, 3 eighths is greater than 1 fourth because 2 eighths is equivalent to 1 fourth. I can see 2 eighths is 1 fourth. But 3 eighths is not greater than 2 fourths. So 1 is the only numerator that I could put there. 3 eighths is greater than 1 fourth. I want you to look on 152 because this is the page that you're going to do. But let's look down at number 9. Number nine says, explain how you can find a fraction between three-fifths and four-fifths. Well, I did a number line here with fifths, and I have from zero to one, one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, and then five-fifths. And then I did a number, another number line that shows fifths, but it also shows tenths. And I can see that it's one tenth, two tenths, which is the same as one fifth, three tenths, four tenths, which is equivalent to two fifths, five tenths, six tenths, which is equivalent to three fifths, seven tenths, eight tenths, which is equivalent to four fifths. And you can see right in between three fifths and four fifths, I have seven tenths. So when you do number nine, you're going to have to say that I can make a number line showing fifths and tenths, and then I know that seven tenths is in between three fifths and four fifths. 